Hello students, I hope you all are happy and healthy with your family. Uh, because of this pandemic situation, school has started online teaching learning process. And uh, some of these teachers have uploaded interesting video. You should have to go through that one and connect with your studying. I am Falguni Desai uh, with the topic of 7th Science Nutrition in Plants. This is the first chapter of uh, a syllabus and in this chapter we will see uh, the types of nutrition and uh, some of the organism which are conducting the type this type of nutrition now here first we will see the definition of nutrition uh, what is the meaning of nutrition the process of taking food and utilize it for the metabolic activity is called nutrition the process of taking food and utilize it taking food and after digesting that one whatever energy has been released that we have to use for the various metabolic activity is called nutrition now on the basis of taking food it is divided into two parts the first one is autotopic nutrition and heterotopic nutrition we will see first autotopic nutrition what is the meaning of autotopic nutrition the definition is like that the mode of nutrition in which an organism can make their own food by using simple substance like carbon dioxide, water and sunlight is called autotropic nutrition. In this mode, the organism is going to use carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. This are the simple substance and make the food, make their own food. This is called autotropic nutrition and the organism which is conducted this type of nutrition is called autotrophs and the example is all green plants now here the question arises all green plants the living organism there is the variety of living organism but the only green plants can make do phototropic nutrition because they are having something special features in them what is it that we will see further the next is heterotopic nutrition the definition is the mode of nutrition in which an organism cannot make their own food and dependent on other organism is called heterotropic nutrition. They are not able to make their own food. They always depend on others for the food. It is called heterotropic nutrition and the organism which is conducted this type of nutrition is called heterotrophs. The next one is example all living organisms except plant because we had classified plants into autotropic nutrition that's why they are autotrophs and etc trust all you can write down any of the example except plant next we will see now the question arises that how can autotrophs make their own food what is the special characteristic they are having which process they are doing they are making their own food by doing photosynthesis now we will see what is the meaning of photosynthesis how it has been done first we will see the definition of that one the process by which green plants make their own food by using carbon dioxide water and solar energy in the presence of chlorophyll is called photosynthesis they are using carbon dioxide water and sunlight in the presence of chlorophyll they are combined together and convert into the product that is glucose this is called photosynthesis and here we have given one word equation that we have to remember product of this process are glucose and oxygen here glucose is the main product and oxygen is the byproduct byproduct means it is not important for the plant it is extra for the plant that is why it is byproduct and glucose is the main product downside you have been given word equation carbon dioxide plus water when it will react in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll glucose and oxygen has been produced means glucose and oxygen are the product here glucose is the simple carbohydrate and oxygen goes into the air i have written like this now why it is going to the air and glucose is the simple carbohydrate how glucose is the simple carbohydrate because that is easily digestible by the body while you are getting weakness while you are feeling weakness doctor used to prefer to give you glucose because it is easily digestible easily absorbed by the blood that's why it is called simple carbohydrate and oxygen that is the byproduct like we are exhaling carbon dioxide we are ex are exhaled air it is not necessity for the body so we are releasing in the atmospheric into atmospheric air 
the same way for the oxygen oxygen is not needed by the plants so what they are doing they are releasing into the air that's why i have written goes into the air now the next sentence is important sentence for you that what are the product and this much product they are using plant are using here excess amount of glucose is converted into complex carbohydrate complex carbohydrate what now we have to identify which is the simple carbohydrate and which is the complex carbohydrate simple carbohydrate in the sense it is easily digestible easily oxidized while the complex carbohydrate it means it is not easily digestible by the body and not oxidized okay so now how can we uh, what are the example of complex carbohydrate the simple carbohydrate is glucose and but the complex carbohydrate as you know but you are not able to identify that is starch and cellulose starch we are eating but cellulose we cannot eat that one because cellulose digesting bacteria is not there in our body so here complex carbohydrate in the form of complex carbohydrate hydrate we are having starch and cellulose the next now here some of the conditions necessary for the process of photosynthesis now what are the conditions necessary for the photosynthesis the first one is carbon dioxide uh, that is uh, the, from where they are getting and how they are getting they absorb from the air with the help of stomata second is water now as you know very well that if we want to watering the plant uh, we are watering to the bottom part of the plant we are not watering to the leaves it is very clear so if they want to get water they are getting water from the soil with the help of roots of the plant now the solar energy from sunlight they are getting solar energy but to absorb this solar energy they should require chlorophyll okay now we will see the structure of stomata as you know in the first line carbon dioxide absorbed from the air with the help of stomata stomata with the help of stomata they are getting carbon dioxide so we should have to see the structure of stomata here in this figure on the right hand side this is the closed stomata and on the left hand side it is the open stomata now see the definition tiny pores present under the surface of the leaves is called stomata tiny pores it means it is not visible with the naked eye if we want to see this one observe this one we should have to use microscope and singular form means if you are having only one stomata on your slide then you have to use stoma stomata is the plural word plural word next is structure of stomata is an oval shape egg shape surrounded by the guard cell now we'll, we are having one video that we will see in this video this is the opening and closing of the stomata process of opening and closing of the stomata in this one petals like structure what is the petal like structure cashew like structure that we will see and how it is open and close this petals like structure is epidermal cell with the help of this one they are uh, conducting guard cell this is the stomata stoma and uh, this is hall pore of the stoma stomata this is the guard cell with the help of this guard cell that hole will open and close stoma will open and close and this is the thin outer wall and this is the thick outer wall of the guard cell next now we will see the reason for the variety of colors seen in the leaves it is not necessary we have seen only one color leaf that is green we have seen sometimes yellow red pink this type of colors in the leaves now what is the reason the question is like that they are not having green color pigment chlorophyll then the other the question will arise again that the chlorophyll if they are not having chlorophyll they cannot do photosynthesis then how they can grow so the answer is they are having chlorophyll okay they are having chlorophyll but the amount of chlorophyll is little bit less as compared to that colorful pigment and this colorful pigment has done mask on the chlorophyll and just because of that reason this leaf seems colorful okay next is photosynthesis by plant parts other than leaves as we know that uh, normally from the uh, senior junior to till the till the standard you have been taught that uh, leaves can do photosynthesis leaves can do photosynthesis but yes uh, some of the other parts of the plant can also do photosynthesis that depend on the adaptation of the particular plant so here we can see that some plant parts like stem branches may also have chlorophyll which can also do photosynthesis so here 
at last i want to say that at last point of the photosynthesis i want to say that the photosynthesis has been conducted by the parts which is having chlorophyll it is not necessary it is present in leaves stems or branches if branches is having chlorophyll they can do photosynthesis if the leaves is having chlorophyll they can do photosynthesis if if the stems is having chlorophyll they can do photosynthesis so for the photosynthesis one condition is necessary that the particular part should have chlorophyll if the part if any part of the plant is having chlorophyll they can do photosynthesis we will see one example that is cactus they are doing photosynthesis with the help of stem you have seen cactus in your house also that is aloe vera you have seen aloe vera you can see aloe vera you cannot you are not able to identify which is leaves which is stems okay but they are modified leaves looking like stems so they are having their stems is having chlorophyll so that's why they are doing chlorophyll they are doing photosynthesis now then this slide is interesting for you especially okay because this is home assignment home assignment for you and you have to do this and utilize your time as you are free at your home the first question is meaning of nutrition second is you have to write down the types of nutrition with their names and one example for each the third question definition of autotropic and heterotropic nutrition fourth is photosynthesis and fifth is what are the by product what is the by product of the process photosynthesis as six write the word equation for this photosynthesis seventh question is simple carbohydrate and one complex carbohydrate that you have to write down eighth is three example in which they are doing photosynthesis by stem or branches that uh, you can write down any of the name of the cactus nine is uh, why some plants are having colorful leaves you have to write down the reason why they are colorful and 10th is stomata definition of stomata and draw the structure of it